Hello, good morning. What's up, Mitty Chlorines? My name is Mitty. <laughs> and the Bailey. Yeah, and the Bailey. And the, oh, and the Sheva. We're gonna do a pickups video and what's the video? Let's get it. All right, so it is um, April 13th, um, 2024. We got a ton of boxes in. I'm actually gonna stop buying inventory for a couple weeks. Um, but we got a ton of boxes in. We got, I think, eight things that have sold that we need to pull. Um, it is Sunday, so there's no post office, but we'll get them packed. And uh, let's just start with one of these boxes. So I did open up just to see what they are. Because I was looking for a specific box, but then I gave up. Um, <clears throat> I know, I mean, I, I did find it, but I didn't need to open any more boxes. But this is a... Um, this is a lot of uh, women's handbags. I paid $32, um, $32 for three. And the first one is a all leather, I think Wilson leather, maybe? No, not Wilson leather, but Maxson brand um, messenger bag. New tags, I don't know, nice condition, I guess. I always wonder about like, even with new tags, should you check the zipper? And yes, yes you should. Cause I did have a uh, Michael Kors purse uh, that we picked up in the last video. That the zipper, it was new, but the zipper um, just was not working. But there we go, one handbag. Then we got this, um, <clears throat> it's another leather bag by um, Kenneth Cole. It's a reaction series, I guess. Or maybe the brand's reaction, a kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's just a little tote, but I know this brand sells pretty good. We sold a uh, book bag um, that we picked up in one of the one of the last two videos for sixty dollars, but that was new attack. So I'm thinking maybe twenty five bucks. It's a pretty big tote, maybe a little more. I'm not sure. And then we have <clears throat> this Cole Haan. Um, burgundy leather bag. Kohan's a good brand to look out for. Um, shoes are good. Purses are good. Um, we got a little scuffing going on right here. And uh, I'll just disclose that in the listing. Um, yeah, pretty nice overall. Might have to clean that up. But let's get in another box and then we'll pull. Uh, some orders. Um, let's do one of these tiny boxes. I haven't opened this one yet. I had to get my box cutter. And just change the blade so it's pretty sharp. Nothing like a nice new blade on a box cutter. But this is going to be wristlets. We have an invoice here for $34.23. Looks like we got about 10 in here. But um uh, this one might have been a blind buy. Oh wow, this one's not a wristlet. Whoa, <laughs> that surprised me. That opened up like crazy. Oh, it's okay. Um uh, currently looks unbranded, so that's never really a good sign because it's so hard to list like an unbranded purse. But the thing about unbranded purses and wristlets is um, it could be vintage. What is this? Lavin... Lav something. Oh, and this is a wristlet. So this is a new, new wristlet or wallet, I guess wallet. I don't know, all the ladies that watch my uh, videos, um, I mean, didn't know down in the comments, but besides the box sent telling me what brand it is, yeah, it's a little dirty, definitely not new, even though it's got that plastic on it. Maybe I can make it look new. Don't know. Don't know. Can't even pronounce the name. 
could be a good sign. It could be a sign that I'm stupid. Um, it says Guess. Yeah. Okay, Guess is a good brand. This is a good color too, I think. I could probably rock this if I tried, but I'd need the right fit. But this is definitely help out with the drip. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe 20 bucks for this. Like I said, I paid $34 and 20, I don't remember. Okay, here's one of those vintage looking ones. Probably unbranded. Nope, it's Sandra Roberts. All right, guys. Sandra Roberts. Go check out Soul Comps and post a video or post a comment in the, the comment section. And then let me know if this is worth a damn thing or not. I do like getting these wristlets. Oh, we got a, ooh, wood tags too. Um, Steve Madden. Um, wristlet, clutch. I still gotta figure out the difference between a wristlet and a clutch, but I've been calling them all kind of the same. Bright color too. Um, I think I have one listed used around this size, but like the rose pink color for $15. So new, maybe 20, 25. It says this is a two-piece wallet scarf set. So, we are missing the scarf. Right? Yeah, we are missing the scarf, so. Don't really know. But, this is me learning. Another little wristlet. Genuine cowhide. Oh, this is... This has definitely gotta be vintage. Look at this, this is so weird. This space for checkbook. This space for check bills. It's got a warranty? Look how old this looks. I wish I could find a name on it. I don't know, but I mean, it looks fancy. And a little coin purse on the side. This is definitely brand new, whatever it is. We have another box, Baronet. And it's uh, another one of those wallet coin purses. Genuine leather, brand new. This looks vintage as well. Vintage purses can be so good, I think. I mean, I've, I've sold one pretty high dollar vintage purse and it was a dinky, which is a um, coach crossbody. Another unbranded bracelet. It was a coach crossbody and I didn't really know it was worth much. Bebe or BB, however you say that. And um, I went doing research on it and it was a blue one. Come to find out, it was worth 140. Well, I sold it for 145 dollars the day I listed it, so that means it's probably it was probably worth more. A little BB crossbody, um, got some nice hardware chain on it, and then last one in here is this guy. It looks like another um, oh no, it's another number. 212 sexy is the brand. It's still got like the gel pack in it, so that might be consider new i don't know but <clears throat> let's pay, uh do some um uh order pulls so in the last video we talked about um pretty much nothing but we did make changes um remember we got second shelf right and over here we have a bunch of uh purses that i decided like i'm just gonna throw in the wash because some of them had like a like the tiniest stains or whatever but i didn't want to list them like like that but we had another change if you remember from the last video, I said I was going to do this, but we moved our um, couch from the uh, shipping room that was right here. And now we have a, um, instead of a death pile, a tower of death. And this is everything that needs to be listed pretty much, which is why I said I'm not going to do any more sourcing because we also have, uh, you know, all these boxes. 
Um, <clears throat> but let's uh, let's pull an order. Okay, so um, we have women's jeans, uh, the Brinkley high rise, um, paper bag, blue denim. <laughs> What the heck? Dude, they always bark for no reason. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so these sold for um, $12.60 plus shipping. And since there is no custom SKU, we can assume that they're in a box without a letter. And it's gonna be one of those three boxes on the bottom. So let's see if I can pull this out. All right, so here they are. It didn't take long to find they were they were in one of those boxes, but just because it doesn't have a skew doesn't mean it's gonna be in one of those boxes. It could just mean that I or Shiva, nah, probably not her, um, didn't put a skew in when I listed. So let's pull another order. What's the next order we got? Okay, I'll figure it out. Um, oh, that was easy. Levi's 514, size 40 by 30, custom SKU in. Uh, they're sold for $14.99 plus shipping. <laughs> and they're down here in our end bin. Levi's 514. Um, let's see. 40 by 30, Levi's 514. Are they black? Or are they, those are just like a real dark, dark wash. Ooh. But as you guys can tell, I'm running out of space. Um, some of these boxes do have a little bit of room, but that's making a little more room right there. <laughs> Bam, put it right there. Now we pull the good stuff. I was just really excited about this box. I did open it to find it. That's the one I was talking about earlier. This is a lot of Disney collectibles. And I hope this turns out to be good. Um, people like Disney. Disney's cool. I grew up with Disney. Uh, we have been selling those Disney pins. Um, we actually have a, one today that's sold. And if you guys remember, we were already in the profit for Disney pins. And we have about, you know what, last video I said we had probably 60 or 70. But I think in total we got 60 or 70 and we've sold like 10. So maybe we have 40 or 50 left. Now this lot, <clears throat> I bought, but the pictures, you couldn't really see everything, but I was able to comp out at least one item that was really, really good. That made it you know, seem uh, reasonable for me to, to buy this. Um, all right, let's just start with this Disney watch. Not ticking. There might be a lot of watches in here. Um, and I wonder, do they sell even if they're not ticking? Here's one. Probably, right? They're probably just, I don't think people wear these, right? Miss Fabulous, a uh, little mini. Here's a Eeyore with the tail as like the uh, minute hand or second hand. I don't know, that feels like leather. So that might be good. Oh, this is the um, this is the item I found that was gonna be worth it for me. And I sold sold comps for this up pendant for fifty dollars. Does it open? Oh, it looks like it does open. What the hell? I don't wanna break it. Does anybody know how to open pendants? Do you pull it? Okay, I don't want to break it, but I'll look more into that. But sold a bunch of sold comps for fifty dollars on that. 
And we'll just go through these a little bit quicker. Here's a little, maybe this is from, uh, I can't remember the movie. Lilo and Stitch? I don't know. One of the movies that takes place in like a beached area. These are all nice and bagged up. We're taking them all out of the bags. All right, here we have a <laughs> naughty, nice. Uh, this looks like a Jeep key for literally someone's car. Um, Disneyland Resort, Puma. Could be worth something, who knows. Um, some of these, these feel like pretty cheap. Um, little wristlet or bracelet. Another watch. It's also a pen. Okay, that's a pen watch. All right. Um, all right, so we're getting some more pins in. That's good. A couple more watches without the bands. Here we have a Disneyland USA coin. I wonder how old that is. And some uh, earrings. Nothing right home about in there. Um, it's like a Cinderella boot, maybe. There's a lot of stuff in here, and I don't know if I really want to do. No, my money. Oh yeah, they got good dog hair on it now. Rebel Attitude. It says Disney on it. That. Chilling like a villain. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here's another little Mickey watch. All right, so we got more of these watches. That one feels or looks like high quality. Okay, got this. Interesting, what is that? Oh, I need to show you guys. Uh, Mickey Musical Watch. I wonder where they got all this stuff from. Another watch. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to like, I was thinking I might be able to put some batteries in these, but sell them like that, but I think I'm gonna sell them without you know, non-working condition, untested. Um, all right, let's take this out and have a look-see. Here's on your wrist. Watch. Cool little Winnie the Pooh watch. Oh, this one feels nice. Mini. Um, something here, here, as you can see, we have a lot of stuff to list. That looks neat. This one's very tiny. Oh, we're actually going through this pretty quick. What is this? Interesting. But we'll be using Google Lens on lots of this stuff. <clears throat> A bunch more pins. We like selling pins because they're easy to list, easy to ship. Necklace. And another um, Disney thing. Mm -hmm. We got another one. Beautiful. I don't know. Do people wear this stuff? Um, I would hope just kids wear this stuff. I'm not sure. Disneyland pen. Does it have a year on that one? I don't know, but it's new. Ooh, that's cool. You see this? All right. That feels nice. Oh, it's okay. Got a lot of a lot of research to do. 
And this video is already running so long. Mm -hmm. And we got one more thing. This looks old. All right, that's everything in there. But I think that pendant will make us our money back. And then um, after that, you know, being the profit. I'll be honest, man. I don't feel like doing anything today. But it's Sunday. Sunday's really the only day I like to uh, film these videos. And we have spent, you know, bus the business's money on stuff to list. And if I skip today doing stuff, then it just seems like a bad idea. So I'm going to drink another cup of coffee and hopefully wake up a little more. It is about like 8.15 or 8.30. I don't know. It's pretty early, but let's pull another one. Hey, it's okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Our next order is going to be another pair of pants. Uh, women's American Eagle Jagging, size six. Um, sold for $13.49 plus shipping. So a lot of low dollar sales, but what did it say, the L bin or the N bin? I think it said the L bin, right? Uh, a lot of low dollar items going out, but that's okay. Um, sell off the big, Dollar items, low dollar items, I don't care. All right, the L bin. Come and get me some. Um, those are Calvin Klein's. I don't remember, I said there was jeggings. I think they're American Eagle, maybe? That might be it. <clears throat> um, yep. Low dollar sale, but um, cost of goods, $3.10. Um, sold for thirteen forty nine. Plus shipping, um, so ten forty nine, and then eBay will take some. I'm, that's probably probably making seven or eight bucks on that pair, which is good. You know, I went back and looked at the uh, at the picture, and it was a dark wash. So those are probably it. Mm -hmm. They hate when I do eBay. And uh, I'm definitely, I'll, I'll always go back and check when I go to go ship to make sure I have the right things, but yeah, we're just picking stuff for the video. All right, next order. The morning, uh, never mind. So the inspectors, all right. They were inspecting. We sold this Disney pin for $5.50 plus shipping. So we're in the profit on this. eBay will probably take uh, less than a dollar. So $4, I guess $4 sale. Um, see, we got them in here and they are up here. And our skew was 13. That's it right there. And Let's see. Look at all these pins. Look at all these. Look at all this money. Money. Where are you, Minnie? Not you. Not you. And it was the last one. And oh, Mother's Day is coming up. I think I heard someone say that recently, but there we go. Ooh. Let's get hyped! Alright, don't be weird. Let's open a box. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. Ooh. Feels like pants. You know, I, I realized in the last video, we were I kept saying probably pants when we were opening boxes. I don't remember if we opened any boxes of pants. So... To anybody who's been missing a pants box, I think this might be one. It's pants! 
Thanks. All right. Let's see. I paid $34.23 for 10 pairs of pants, which is still between three and four. It's probably like $3.20, $3.30 per pair. Ooh. And let's see. So we got this pair of Carhartts. Carhartt Carpenter Pants. Um, they sell pretty good, pretty quick. Uh, they are pretty linty, but I've been using like, I don't have a lint roller. I literally went to the grocery store to find one and I kept looking and looking and looking and couldn't find them and I just gave up. So I've been using like just my, my packing tape. And I'm going to go. All right, so we got that pair of uh, carpenter pants, Carhartts. We didn't tell you the size. Size does matter. Most of the time, size 36 by 30. That's a good size. Uh, carpenter Carhartt pants. You can see this sticking out. Um, these are new tag uh, Dickies, 38 by 30s. I'm gonna leave them folded. Um, got a pair of Lucky Brand jeans. I've sold a lot of Lucky Brand jeans. Um, probably normally between like uh, $12.99 and like $17, $18.99. Probably just like depending on the size and stuff like that. Ooh, this will be my first pair of new tag uh, Lucky Brand. So that might be a good 25, 30 bucks? I don't know. Retails for $99. And those are 38 by 34. Um, common jeans and jeans spelled with a G, G E N E S. Um, I haven't heard of this brand. Um, I don't know. These are women's, these are men's. Um, size 16 P. So these are women's and I could tell before I saw the size that they were women's because of, uh, um, it said spandex was in it. And a lot of times when I see spandex, um, as a fabric used to make this, I assume that they're like kind of a stretch for, uh, women who want to be size 16, but are really size 17. These are size, or uh, these are Lees. Um, Lees are always good. People, it's a, it's a good brand. It's, you know, they've been around for a long time and people have been buying them for a long time. Um, straight fit. I'm literally just sniffing. These smell like soap, which is weird. Um, I actually, I have, I might actually might put these in the, uh, need to be washed. Um, yeah, they smell like, it's just like bar soap, which is weird. I, I mean, it doesn't mean they're bad, but if I, if I bought a pair of pants and I, it smelled like bar soap, I'd be like, I'm good. Um, here we have a pair of women's Banana Republics. Woo! We've got the, uh, the flare or boot cut, um, Y2K type thing. Um, if you guys didn't know, if you're selling... Um, especially women's jeans or anything in general. If they're like a vintage style, like um, early 2000s, if you put Y2K in the title, um, you probably get a little bit more hits. Here we have, these are women's LL Beans, which I have sold a bunch of LL Beans, but they've all been men's. These are size 14, kind of a boot cut, I guess. You know what? I said boot cut with these. It's more like just flared um, jeans. But and then we have another pair of uh, flared jeans. But this is okay. So see this? It's hard to read the um, brand Pilcro and the letterpress, but. Oh, there it is on the back. Pilcro and the letter letterpress. 
It's got a leather um, branding on the back. But normally, if you see something like this, this is more likely a very, I'm, and I'm taking a guess, but this is going to be a high-end brand, and it's also going to be a return to the actual uh, company, not to the store it's purchased at. Um, even if, I don't know if they have like these in retail stores or stuff like that, maybe just outlets, but when you see something like that, that means that I think the company sewed this on so you, um, and then donated it to a thrift store. And that is so that um, you can't return these to the company because uh, it has that on there, um, I think. But I'm gonna guess that's Pilcro and the letterpress. That's gonna be a high-end brand. And then we have a pair of um, lofts. These are gonna be, hmm, let's see. I don't see any kind of style or anything on it. And we'll just use um, the style number on this tag right here to look these up. But what would be unfortunate is, oh wait, here we go. Size 12, leggings, it just says leggings. That's, uh, but what would be unfortunate is sometimes I get like pants in and they don't have a size. With men's I can do like, I can measure it a little bit, but with women's, um, I have no clue, no clue. So a lot of times if I see that, I put them in a separate box and I'm going to end up lotting them all together and selling them as a lot on eBay to someone who wants to uh, measure them. So that was a good box though. <laughs> all right. Next item is, uh, these salt and pepper shakers, um, bluebird. Uh, and they're grumpy. They grumpy. And they sold for fifteen dollars forty three cent. Wow, fifteen dollars forty three cents. Um, plus shipping. So, they in here. Uh, see if we can find them. Just kidding. We can see them right here. There's all my salt and pepper shakers. And salt and pepper shakers, they're good. People buy them, people collect them. I don't know if they actually use them, but um, they're slow movers. So let's pull these out. Oh, look how grumpy they are. Nice and grumpy. They're our sad meter. And well, quit playing. You ain't sad. All right, there we go. Salt and pepper shakers. I'm gonna set them um, right here. Right here. Good sale. I think that's a good sale. And I got a good box and it'll be easy to ship. Don't worry about it. All right, next we have these. Women's Levi's size 4M mid-rise uh, boot cut signature 27 by 30. Women's? 27? Oh, maybe I measured them. But uh, 14.99, bam, 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 bam. Size 4M in the A bin. We like selling stuff out of the A bin because it's been sitting the longest. But we don't like pulling it down. Bam. Women's Levi's, women's, women's, Levi's. That can't be them. Bam, bam. That's gotta be them. Doesn't look like it though. Let's see. Mm, I don't think there's a Levi's. This is the A bin. It said the A bin. I'm looking in the A bin. Let's go back and look. Oh, huh. They are dark in the A bin. Dang it. Where are they? Where are they? Who? All right, wait. These might be it. Commas up. I should have known better. I think these are it. Let's take a peek. See. Open. Open. Nope, these are arrows. All right, now I gotta look for these pants. I have no idea where they are. We got them. It was really easy, actually. Uh, as soon as I turned the, the phone off for the last clip, I checked the B bin, and um, what had happened was, when I first started doing the SKU system, I couldn't find an item, and I only had three or four bins, and I was just 
back and forth searching, searching, and searching, and searching, trying to find them. Um, so it must have just got accidentally moved over to the uh, <coughs> beeping. Um, what do you guys want to do next? An order or a box? Let's do another order. Let's, let's do another order. All right, so, oh, it's okay. All right, we have a pair of pants going out. I like selling pants, do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? Why do I like selling pants? Because they're easy to ship. All right, we sold a pair of pants, Timber Creek by Wrangler, 40 by 29 um, khakis. And the W, these sold for, oh my gosh, $17.99 plus shipping on top. Wranglers, W bin. Um, uh, these are newly listed. Uh, probably been listed for, I don't know, because I scheduled everything. Oh, wait. Let's see. It might actually be the, no, these? No, those are the women's Wranglers. I think these are men's. Nope, I think it's those. Is it? Does it say 12 long? Did it say 12 long? Did it say 12 long? Did it say 12 long? I don't remember, let's look. Um, it did not, these, oh yeah, we're looking for khakis. Not jeans, we're looking for khakis. Bam. Um. Okay, there they are, right? 40 by 29. Didn't realize that they were new, but good sale. Bang, 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 bang. All right, what should we do? What should we do? Should we say hey to the Shiva? Should we say hey to the baby and hey to the Shiva? What you got there? Hey, give me that bone. Hey, hold on a second. Give me that bone. That's not your bone. Boom, 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 All right. All right. Let's do another box. I forgot to move this old one out the way, but... Yeah, so I'm not going to do much more of this video because I got lots of listing to do. My plan is... Um, I gotta do my taxes. Tax day is in one day away. So I'm gonna do my taxes. And then I'm gonna list and list. I'm gonna take the dogs to the park twice. Um, we'll wait for all the dew to settle. Um, then we'll go to the park. And um, what else do I need to do today? A list, list. We're gonna have some Jimmy Dean English muffin biscuits. List, list. And I'm going to list as much as possible. But first thing I got to do is my taxes. Or should we list? I don't know. But we're not going thrifting. Don't need to. Thrifting is really fun, but it sucks. Let's see what we got in this box. Might be more wristlets. Hmm. All right. So... Okay, $34.23 for this lot, and it's socks. Check it out. Brand new socks. 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 Uh, socks. Uh, various sizes, uh, colors. There are 16 of these, whatever, 16 two-packs. And um, if I can sell them for $15 plus shipping a piece, that's gonna be good. But I'm not gonna pull all those out. Um, they, look, they look pretty comfy, but um, let's do another box. I should've known better. All right, so we got handbag lot. Uh, same deal, 
um, things like $34 or $32, something like that. For three handbags, this is a very large Steve Madden um, hobo bag. Is that the right word? Tote. Um, we also got a D and B. Judy and Burke. Daniel and Boo. What the heck? Um, another big, like, it's pretty nice. And our last one. That's the reason I got it is a Lauren Ralph Lauren um, hobo bag tote thing. So. That's okay. I mean. I don't know. Do people want this design? Is that hooks and stuff? Horseshoes? I don't know. But that was that. All right, we did two boxes pretty quick, but let's do another one. No, it's on the bottom. This one's on the top. You guys don't get the Pick. I pick. Something weird. This is probably gonna be more purses. It's what it feels like. Whoops. I should have known better. I had a wish. Um, this is not purses. This is. We are not the same. I am a Martian. Um. 10 athletic wear clothing tops and bottoms maybe. But we got new tags, Adidas. Uh, that's got a Princeton embroidery on it. I don't know if that's gonna help it or hurt it. A lot of times embroideries are not good, but it being Princeton, that might be good. Um, got a dry fit shirt, new tags, Nike. Um, got a rag and bone, um, just a plain, plain tee, athletic wear, got uh, free country, is free country good? I know free people's good, and free note is good, um, but free country, oh maybe it has like a price on it, $18.99 uh, retail, so not much there, uh, we have some Ralph Lauren, New tags, uh, sweatpants, and these retailed for one hundred and ten dollars. So that's that's pretty good. Um, here we have. Whoa, this is a a Superman. Um, what the heck is this? It's a Superman dry fit. Never seen that before. Got tags on it as well by ZRCE. Never heard of it. Here we have um, some leggings, I guess, by Morit. Uh, retails $25 at Morit. It's so not, not great on that. Um, here we have some more leggings by Danskin. Um, marble print. This looks like a Walmart brand, maybe. I mean, best guess that, I mean, or maybe Target or something. Got another dry fit uh, with tags, pretty small. Retails 35, uh, Nike. And then um, a Columbia uh, dry fit shirt. So that's good, Columbia's pretty popular. It's a medium, um, it's got a nice little pattern on the back here. And that retail for $60. So that's it for that box, that's a good box. I paid $34. 49 cents or 23 cents or I don't know. Those polos are going to double, I hope, at least get our money back. We'll at least get our money back on those uh, green polo sweat pants. So let's pull an order. All right. So we got another order. Um, these are going to be American Eagle um, women's mom jeans, uh, size 10, um, distressed. And luckily these have no skew. But I can tell by the picture, this is definitely an older one. Um, $11.99 plus shipping on that. American Eagle Women's 
something. Oh, I gotta put our W bin back. Oh. And it's nice being able to get rid of this stuff. I mean, I guess I could go through and skew everything. Um, these might be it. American Eagle. Those might be it. These look, those look distressed. What I like about using these bags is if you suck, if, not, if you take all the air out whenever you bag them up, I didn't say suck all the air out. Um, they kind of stay folded on their own and they don't get all wrinkly. That one got a little wrinkly. <laughs> I think these are it, but let me check the size. All right, so I think that was all the all of our sales. If you guys are counting, I think we had eight. Um, it might be, hmm, I thought there was one more, but. I think that was all the sales. Not a lot of sales. It's so weird because it's Sunday. And, um, you think like most people when they get their paycheck, they're that's when they want to go like buy something for themselves or something. Um, but we had our, all of our bigger sales earlier in the week. So like we sold that, we sold a Michael Kors purse for fifty dollars, and I think we paid twelve dollars for it. Um, but this has got to be pants. It's got to be. Let's move this other box out of the way. I think we're just going to do this last box and then um, call it for the video because uh, I got a lot of stuff I need to do. I just want to make sure I at least put something out on uh, YouTube. These are going to be men's denim. Paid 34 23 or something for these. And these are very big, it feels like. Um, I got some Lucky Brands. Oh, uh, this is this is the entire reason I bought this. These are new with tags, N U O V O, and I'll go and try and find sold comps for this. Um, but when I was looking it up before I bought it, I couldn't find a single pair of these used, but I, or new. But I think I saw some used that were selling pretty good, but I can't remember exactly. That's the only reason I bought this lot. There's, a, I mean, there's definitely some um, other jeans in here, some Levi's, some more Lucky Brands, you know, let's see, Eddie Bauer, um, Levi's, 541s, so you know, I mean, there's good brands in here and stuff, at least stuff that people still buy, um, Gap, uh, Denizen, and another pair of, uh, Levi's in there, so, but I'm really curious about those Nuovo uh, jeans. Ooh. Let's go ahead and do that one because that didn't take too long, or do the other one. I'm actually surprised those came in because I feel like I just bought those and they're already here, but my FedEx guy must hate me, man. I've given them, um, I give them $5 one day in the water because I happened to like pull up while he was here. And then um, like last week I gave him 10 bucks because I've been feeling bad. All right, so this is going to be um, pants. Okay, 34.23 for these. And so we got some dress pants, Perry Ellis. I think those aren't that great. Um, Perry Ellis, like these are new with tag Perry Ellis, which retail, Let's see if it tells us. They retail for about $100, but they resell new tags for like $16. Um, but we have Charter Club, new tags. 